Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Kinchin Impact. We are continuing with uh, the story. Um, actually, we are gonna talk to her here in the beginning, because these guys are done. Uh, it's been for a while, but I have not taken them. Uh, just gonna get them out there. Oh, we should actually get some uh, characters in there. Send him again, and we can send them a longer time. Oh, I didn't know that. Read this one then. Recall there. There we go. Go. Hmm. <laughs> this guy. There we go. That was probably one thing, um, the first thing I wanted to do. Then, uh, we're gonna continue on the story this time. Last time we did meet with Jiangling. Jiangling, I think I'm saying it right there. I don't know, maybe. But we are going up here and talking. Uh, uh, about something, I don't know what it is actually. Think that's a new like new chapter. It's probably about that thing. Uh, it's uh, about the um, the red thing there. Uh, the tier we knew used to heal the stuff. Why can I not go up? Because I don't need to. Well, I need to go in here. Well then it was uh, it was meant to open. We can take some books here. <sighs> if you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. <sighs> I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. Okay. Gusha Biat. Okay, good man. Uh, guess we're heading out. Here. 
that dude. That's not gonna be that, huh? Oh yeah, I changed back actually. I did change back to her. Just to get some more health back. Just makes it a lot easier. Cutie, you're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. So it is. In that case, I declare this the day of... The day of my life I wish I could get back because I spent my first ever outing with someone taking them on an annoying errand. Don't you think that's a bit long? <laughs> Well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make Yes! Yes! Let us pick! This pair? Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl... Well, in this case, a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Uh, what's this? This is the toy doll I was talking about earlier. Doesn't she look lovely in those shorts? Hmm. It does look a little bit terrifying, doesn't it? I wonder if you could find some other use for it. Voodoo doll? Have you lost your mind? What could I have possibly done to deserve this? Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, let's go with... What do we add, bells? Me? You're asking me? Uh, I feel like Lisa is the well-educated type. Ah, oh, that's right. I heard she enjoys items of historical interest. This is a new arrival. It took three adventurers to carry this big boy back from the ruins where they found it. It comes with a lot of history, as well as a lot of weight. That's perfect. You do have strange tastes. If this is your way of saying you want to be my knight in shining armor, I'd rather you just say the words instead. Are you sure? Can't change again once you... Let's go over this. Suppose it's not completely useless. I'll let Razor borrow it when it's time for his enhancement training. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. <sighs> well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Mm -hmm. I'll just shut up here. Oh. Not meant to talk to you. Still not meant to talk to you. Well, there we are. a good hunter. Table for two. Three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book 
work situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? Why don't you order us something? Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't change again. Sure. Mm, finished ordering. Mmm, <laughs> beautifully tender and cooked to perfection. No wonder it's their signature dish. It's a shame I can't have more, but a witch must watch her physique. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Well, the hell is Paimon? Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. Hmm. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. Hmm. <sighs> okay then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop then, cutie. It's been getting quite busy. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, all I can think about is D Luke. <sighs> This is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, c couples are our specialty. Let me know- Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Hmm. <laughs> Mist flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. You sure? Can't change again once you... Nope. Some flower... Some fl Dandelions are one of our classics, and a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They're a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the did come to think of it. Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. Are you sure? Can't change again once you... You're all this. They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies ring a bell. Oh, uh, yes. Well, what happened was... Oh, no. What am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, 
Donna's done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. Ooh. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Sensi... Huh? Use your elemental sight to look for clues! Mm-hmm. I have figured that out, Paimon. Traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? Sure. <laughs> no idea why I unlocked that. Oh, co op. So now I can play co-op. I don't like that. There we go. The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. I right, want to go up here first. We can take this as well. We're now where we are here. Now that's a close on this area. We can just take this area out pretty easily here. Now maybe Amber here and shoot. Oh my god, there's a big one. Oh shit. And here. And this guy. What? We're missing some people? Oh, there they are. Play that. Now let's get back to that mission. <laughs> oh, to the animal. Hey, wait, I need them. Now we can go to Amber? Yeah, we can. <laughs> I didn't know these were here. So now Amber can level up as well. That's awesome. I uh, guess.
Guess we actually have to climb. Shouldn't have jumped down from here. There. It's further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell. And this guy. Whoa, I need to go far. Yeah. I need extra some health, so I've got to hell. Then. Guess we have some more. Leave it all to me. Oh, the lovely health there. Get rid of that shield. You can even detect magic. What? Follow the flow of magic to find the book. Okay, let's keep flying this way. jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none-too-friendly troublemakers. Stealing books is hardly the Hilly Churl's style. All they would use books for is to keep their campfire going anyway. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an abyss mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Okay. Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when
and she's hard at work. <coughs> oh, so much see you, Book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions. Here we go. Grab that. There we go. Again. Ooh, just timed it right. Okay, let's just take these guys out pretty easy. So easy to take them out with this guy. But she's also doing a lot of damage though. That meant to use her. No! Okay, now I'm pissed. Come. Doing this this fast by this time. Yes, go down, oh man. There you go. Stop! No! Steady, 
Got him. Woo! We got him the last second there. Hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... Who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains the secret. Uh-oh. <laughs> Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, let's not piss her off. isn't damaged otherwise otherwise what are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case uh... then again as I said it isn't from the restricted section which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place and it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me, are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good, you're amenable to reason then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. Yeah, that's definitely something we're doing. I don't want her on my bad side. Guess we're going to talk to her again. There we go. We well, let's just jump down. Okay, made it inside. Oh here. 
Let's go talk to her. Returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat Travel Guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs! In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But, never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. <sighs> okay, completed. Oh my god. Look at the travel guy. Something special like if we go and look at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I got one of these as well. Hmm. Uh, what do we have emissions now? Seems like I need to go and grind some stuff so we can get this one. Can we head upstairs now? Oh, there! This one. Okay, guess we can just leave. Now, let's fly down here. Oh. Yeah, okay, this is down here. The shoving, uh, shoving areas. to claim my next rank here. Thank you. Okay, there's a lot of ranks. Hmm. What do we do now? Let's go to the weapon guy. See if you can upgrade my weapon. Have some. So we can make some of these. Okay. Okay. Literally nothing we could do there. Well. Anything else? Maybe her? Let's go talk to her. Purchase. Thing I was supposed to buy too, so. 
I just bought one of these as a, uh, a while ago. No. Uh, characters. And we can level him up as well. He can get a lot higher as well. Nice. Still a weapon? We need these. Maybe we can buy it with her. Can we buy that? Do we sell these? She does. But free, that's still not enough. Which should I choose? <sighs> a pass of food. What about this guy? I am to make alchemy is a craft that has been passed down since ancient times, but it is barely understood in the present. Its mechanisms are magical and mysterious. If we can get the hang of this, we should be able to create some pretty awesome stuff. This must be your alchemist's workbench. That's right. Why not give it a go yourself? You'll be fine. The procedure's actually very simple. If you're interested, I could show you the basics. Gonna switch here. Lisa is good at this as well. Lisa's good to craft this. And I need to switch to her. Fuck no, I'm not doing that. Cool. All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide. The difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. <laughs> Unfortunately, my skills are not that advanced. <laughs> There's a lot of other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient civilizations. And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. Why are you so obsessed with other Paimons? Do I no longer <laughs> satisfy your primordial needs? We need more. <laughs> You two are a fascinating pair, I must say. Well, see you next time. I'm just just joking, Paimon. You're great. I'm not ever afraid of you. We're not gonna get rid of Paimon. All right. Should buy some one of these to Paimon. Can I give it to Paimon? There. Oh, can't give one to Paimon. It's annoying. So, it seems like we're done there. Pretty much here. Go to the shop, right? Purchase one. And we're gonna open one of these. And we got nothing. 
Nice, okay. I'm gonna say uh, end it here and say thank you for watching. I need to get uh, grinding because I need to get uh, to the next uh, level. S little rank 18, I think, and was. So I got a pretty hard grind. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching and I hope I see you all in the next episode. Bye.